What's going on guys? Waco from Revolution here with a rather extraordinary watch on my wrist. As you can see, it's got incredible presence and it is from Global 4C. It is the GMT Balancier Convex. And it is a watch that is remarkable because even though it has incredible technical firepower, it's incredibly comfortable to wear on the wrist. This watch represents the fourth watch that's been launched at the Balancier S. Incline balance wheel at 30 degrees, incredible watch, 43 mm in terms of diameter, just over 13 mm in terms of uh, thickness as well. Then we shifted to the double balance, a watch which has got two incredible incline balance wheels and also being driven by a differential mechanism, which is incidentally has a constant force mechanism and is being rearmed every four minutes. So we went from that to an incredible launch, one of my favorites, the Grubel Force Tourbillon Architecture. It was a watch that transformed the movement to a hyperdynamic amphitheater of these swooping titanium bridges and really brought you into the watch thanks to a sapphire crystal case band that allowed you an unencumbered view inside. But this is the fourth watch and it is a watch that comes from a very interesting tradition from Grubel Force. Grubel Force is the innovator of creating a massive depiction of the globe on your wrist. The first watch that we saw that in was the GMT followed by the GMT Earth. Then we saw that in the GMT Quadruple Tourbillon which finally resulted in the GMT Sport as the last iteration. But this this watch is really special in that it combines kind of the two greatest and most iconic hits of Grubel Force, the incline balance wheel at 30 degrees, which is floating just underneath the sapphire crystal of this watch, and this massive terrestrial globe, which is executed in titanium and has been laser engraved to incredible micro precision. So, of course, if you want to be able to use this watch as an effective way to tell a second time zone, such as your home time, or really any time in the world, I mean, such as the beauty of this depiction, you just have to be good at geography. That's absolutely right. So you're looking down at the globe as if you're floating above the North Pole, and you can see all the planets being made out in this beautiful gray tone. Then based on where the planets are, so if I were to look, for example, towards the northeast side of the United States and identify New York City, I would then look to a ring, a universal time ring that is surrounding the circumference of this beautiful globe. And there I would see the hour indicator for the specific time that I'm in. But at the same time, the watch is synchronized to this very beautiful universal time indicator on the back, which has an indication for the 24 time zones um, represented by the 24 cities on this planet in this indication. Of course, they have done a little special touch here. And instead of Paris, they have put the birthplace of Grubel Force, La Chaux de Fonds, which I think is a really cool touch. But what else can I tell you about this watch? Well, that's the thing, what I love about Grubel Force and the current CEO, Antonio Calche's vision. His whole idea was to take all the watchmaking acumen of Grubel Force, this incredible innovation in terms of tourbillons, in terms of technical oscillators, in terms of representing the earth. And he wanted to make it more wearable, lighter, effortless. And so you have here, as I said, a convex 43.5 mm in diameter case that has a thickness of 13.75 mm. But when you put it on your wrist, it follows the contour of the wrist really perfectly. And I have to say on this rubber strap, it's absolutely effortless to wear. It's featherweight as well, which is really remarkable. So, okay, we've talked about one dimension of the watch, which is the technical innovation related to it. But the second dimension I wanna talk about is the incredible visual richness. Like when you see this watch on someone's wrist, you can't help but be almost hypnotically drawn towards the watch. You wanna approach and you wanna peer as to what's inside. Which brings me to point number two is the incredible finishing of Google Force. Grubel Force has 100 employees in their factory in Le Chaux de Fonds, and one third of those are dedicated just to hand finishing. So what is the hand finishing that we'll see here? Well, first of all, we see this incredible balance wheel hovering almost above the planet Earth and almost touching it underneath the sapphire crystal. And then we see a balance bridge, which has been attenuated in this beautiful form and black polish that is polishing that is so perfect that when you look at it head on, it doesn't reflect light. On top of that, we see this beautiful hand decorated bridge that supports the entire movement that has been basically brushed with wire brushes and then has a tiny uh, hammer-like uh, texture to it as well, which is dimpled by hand. Then on top of that, we have this mysterious indication for the local time, which is surrounding the globe. It's on these two floating hands that are both luminous as well. And then at eight o'clock, we have an indication for the second time zone, right? So you've got second time zone, local time, and then you've also got universal time, which you can see on the back as well. It's absolutely ravishing to behold, and I have to say one of the coolest watches around. 
Grubel 4C is uniquely represented by Sincere Fine Watches and is available at the SHH Boutique, which is in Marina Bay Sands. The SHH Boutique was created by Kate Lim and Ong Ban uh, in order to champion independent watchmaking and make it a showcase for all that's great by these amazing independent watchmakers. It's also be, meant to be a showcase for the rock stars of the watch world for tomorrow. Right. So even though we know all the most recognizable brands, when you go there, you'll see really interesting brands from Chepek to Armin Strom to so many others. And those brands to me are the ones that Sincere Fine Watches at their SHH boutique has identified as being the brands that have the most potential for the future. And so that's one of the things I love about that. It's a place where you have real discovery. So head down there, check out this watch, and thank you very much for tuning in. Cheers.